reassemble the unit. And remove any tape and temporary labels from the range before testing, but leave the adhesive film layer over the brushed metal surface to protect the finish from scratches. Double check that all packing materials have been removed from the oven cavity and door. Now, press the power button located next to the display and set initial settings, such as language and time. Now, select Bake in the Cooking Mode screen, then Start to check the operation of the oven. The oven should finish preheating in 15 minutes. After making sure the oven operates properly, turn the temperature in the oven to 550 degrees Fahrenheit or 288 degrees Celsius and leave the oven on for at least an hour. This helps remove any residual oil that might cause smoke or odor when first using the oven. Check the electric ignition by selecting a surface burner knob and simultaneously pushing in and turning to the light position. You'll hear a clicking sound indicating the spark module is working properly. Once the air has been purged from the supply lines, the burner should ignite within four seconds. After the burner ignites, rotate the knob out of the light position and repeat for each burner. Make a visual check of each burner's flame combustion quality. With LP gas, some yellow tipping on the outer cones is normal. Next, you'll adjust the continuous simmer setting on all burners. The extra low simmer settings on the small 15,000 BTU burners adjust to maintain temperatures automatically as the flame cycles on and off. Remove the knob on the burner you're adjusting. Unscrew the two screws and remove the locking plate. Then reassemble the burner knob and light all the surface burners. Turn the knob on the burner you're adjusting to the simmer or S4 position. Then remove the knob. Insert a small flat blade screwdriver that's at least 9 inches long into the adjustment hole to the left side of the valve shaft and turn the adjustment screw until the flame reaches the desired size. Then reassemble the locking plate and burner knob. You'll perform two tests to check the simmer setting flame stability. First, quickly turn the knob from the highest setting to simmer or S4. If the flame goes out, increase the flame height with the adjustment screw and test again. For the second test, set the burner to simmer or S4, then quickly open and close the oven door. If the air current extinguishes the flame, increase the flame height with the adjustment screw and test again. Repeat the simmer adjustment and tests for each burner. You've completed the Signature Kitchen Suite 36-inch and 48-inch gas Pro Range installation. Visit SignatureKitchenSuite.com for more information on our precision built-in kitchen appliances.